platform server or no time to experience touch or how about being born without legs no ability to walk stand run now combine these two together what would you do if you were born without arms and legs no muscles and legs if you think it's impossible to meet a person with such a disability you got to meet nick weake a man with no limbs today i'm going to talk about nick's life the essence of his teachings and what i personally take from him nick was born in 1982 with pelvic anemia disorder he came to this world with no arms no legs but a tiny foot hanging around without any prior medical warning or family history imagine the shock his parents might have undergone to see their new born baby child with no arms and legs what would he do once he grows up how can he live a normal happy life however little did they know that this beautiful young baby would one day touch millions of hearts all over the world in different walks of life so Nick's childhood was very challenging, and his youth was fruitful. Nick not only dealt with the typical school challenges like bullying and self-esteem issues, he also struggled with a lot of depression and loneliness. <coughs> he constantly questioned to himself, why was he the one who was born with no limbs? Why was he not similar to his peers? After a lot of frustration, consequently, as Nick grew. He started adapting to the situation. He started accomplishing things that we do every day, like combing his hair, brushing teeth, and in fact, typing computer with his little tiny foot, swimming, playing sports like golf. So, basically, Nick started embracing his situation. So, after high school, Nick continued with his education and obtained double bachelor's degree in finance and management. At the age of 19. Nick started fulfilling his dream of motivating others by sharing his story. Consequently, because of his achievements, Nick was nominated for Young Australian Award, which is a very prestigious award given in Australia for people who are very successful and also done local community service. So, in, at the age of 25, Nick has achieved more than people. who are twice his age he has his own motivational speaking company called attitude is attitude through which he has been giving plenty of speeches all over the world to different groups like students youth women church congregations entrepreneurs etc so till now nick has touched almost 3 million people in 24 different companies sorry countries on five different continents so this is the biography of nick So now let's move on to how Nick inspires others by sharing his story. If you see any video of Nick, you will notice that Nick starts his speech by trying to stand on his own with his little foot. He does this to send two beautiful messages to the audience who are standing. I mean, audience. First, persistence. Rather than restricting himself to a wheelchair or a caretaker, no matter how many times. Failed in his life. Nick never gave up his persistence, because of which he has reached this height. The second lesson is attitude, developing positive attitude. Nick wholeheartedly believes that in every struggle that we face in our life, there is a purpose, and the attitude with which we face those challenges plays a major role in overcoming them. So Nick. Shares that he underwent a lot of distress in life and even attempted suicide twice in life. But then he realized the importance of embracing this reality and developed a positive attitude because of which he has created a beautiful life of his own. In addition, he is making others' life beautiful by motivating them, by giving them hope. Let's move on to what I personally take from him. When I came across him a couple of months back in YouTube. One question caught my eye a lot: How a person with <coughs> such a massive disability can be so bubbly and charming? What gives him the hope when he cannot even do simple things that we do every day, like grabbing a cup of coffee or holding hands of our loved ones? After this retrospection, I learned one, two important lessons from him. First.
first, knowing our potential. Nick clearly proves that no one in this world can tell you what actually you are capable of doing. It's you and only you who can prove it to yourself. In case of Nick, many people might have questioned him about how he can really do a complete life. What can he do once he grows up? But Nick <coughs> really tried hard and he knows his potential and become a big person. The second thing that I learned from Nick is that obstacles equal to opportunities. Whenever we want to attempt something, whenever we want to stay out of our comfort zone, it is the obstacles which holds us back. But Nick says that there is a simple equation which can solve your problem. That is obstacles equal to opportunities. In case of Nick, he had a lot of obstacles in his life. He could not even do simple things. But then he used it as an opportunity to be a motivational speaker, which millions of hearts travel all over the world. So ultimately what I take from Nick is that when a person with such a disability can achieve so many things in his life, why not I? This gives me enough confidence to face the challenges that I come across every day. So Toastmasters and guests, this is the story of me that I wanted to share with you. Whenever I come across any challenge or problem, I stop for a while, I think about people who have it a little harder. Are they complaining? No. They are trying hard. So shall I? Perhaps. So shall we? So Toastmasters and guests, Let's eradicate the sense of entitlement that lingers everyone of us. <coughs> Let's not whine about the job. Let's not whine about our funding love life. Let's be responsible for our actions. So whenever we think about whining about something, let's think about the people who have it a little harder, but still smiling.